And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Since last time, I just went ahead and went back to town because this is pretty much a central location, uh, equal from all the dungeons. But before we head out, let's do something real quick. Let's use the change staff. Uh, where is it? Let's see what we get. That's not gonna do it. Let's try that again. There we go. Now there's a very specific reason I use the change staff. Mostly because the town actually has monsters I need. I forget which monsters exactly that uh, can do this, but you want something with that small. Because over here, there's a hole. Normally we wouldn't be able to go through here. But since we change into a monster beforehand, we fit just fine. Also, if you're playing Terra's version of the game, she can go through without any problems, because she's a little girl. We're kind of big, though. Also, there are actually enemy encounters here. These are new enemies. They're also dead. I forgot that move did that much damage. Uh, did my repellent wear off when I wasn't paying attention? Anyways, let's keep going. Also, uh, it doesn't matter if your chain staff wears off now, you'll be fine. This is an actual maze. It's not- there aren't any puzzles in this one, it's just a maze. But yeah, you have- it's kind of annoying to have to walk all the way back to town just to change into a good monster that will actually fit. Mostly because the game doesn't tell you which monsters can fit. Unless you're Terra. In which case you can just go straight through without having to know that was a puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, none of my monsters would fit. I think if you use change staff, it basically just randomly changes you <clears throat> changes you into a monster that's nearby. And all of my monsters are big. Let's see, yeah, this is the right way, I think. Yep, this is the right way. And in here we get a silver cape. That's not the treasure. That's also not very useful. Actually, no, preventing sleep is kind of useful, but eh, I prefer the, prefer, prefer the equipment I already have, which is mostly defense increasing. Actually, what do I have? Lucky has a dragon scale. Scooter has a divine ring, and actually, yeah, Scooter has a divine ring. Actually, let Scooter take that ring off. Give that to Van, she needs the MP more. You can have more HP instead. And now Scooter is tanky- No, te Lucky's still te technically tankier. Probably because of his high defense. Of course, that doesn't really matter, because none of the enemies in this area can actually hurt me anymore. Let's see, is this the right way? I don't know. Oh crap, repellent wore off. Uh, how many do I have left? I need to organize it in my equipment. I have one more. I need to remember to buy some next time I head to town. Here we go! And this one actually has a guardian! <laughs> Welcome to me the Metal Slime uh, battle. This guy can actually be kind of tough, if only because his defense is... Max. He's a metal monster. So basically, you're gonna have to keep hitting him and, and relying on uh, critical strikes to do any damage. That is, unless you do this and actually remember to uh, give your or er, your monsters metal slash, metal cut. Where is it? There it is. And Van can just hit it. But yeah, his defense is technically 999. Normal attacks won't actually do any damage. However, yeah, that's actually good damage. Metal monsters are really annoying. If we didn't have metal cut, this battle could take like... Probably it could take up to 20 minutes. Also, de actually, does de decreasing his defense work? I've never actually tried this. Nope, it doesn't work on them. I think he only has like 20 HP too, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, can you? Actually, no. Uh, no, Strong D only increases defense. 
speed up, increase. Nope, we don't have any uh, attacks. Just set it on fire. See if this works. Also, he knows bang. That actually slightly hurt us. This is a very low numbered uh, fight. No one's dealing over 20 damage. And yeah, Van's not very useful in this battle because she doesn't know Metal Cut. And we don't actually need healing at this point. Come on! Die for me, please! Oh, he also knows Fireball. It's like Bang, except weaker. I think he's almost dead. We've done a whole... I think we've done like 16 damage on him. And he's done about... Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Van's actually... No, Van's actually fine. I was gonna say, she's low on HP, but then... At, the, at this rate, she'll die in... Like, a week. Actually, we'll probably run out of MP before she dies. Actually, no, he's gonna be dead pretty soon. Oh, he's dead. Okay. That took... Way too long. And Scooter's still overtaking Lucky. And so is Van. Lucky's so slow. Yay! Oh, he and he just runs away. We don't actually kill him. Yep, it's the Heaven Helm, I think. Yeah, that's a helmet. Alright, that's two tre treasures down. Now let's get the hell out of here. And I just real Do I have any warp wings? I might have picked one up earlier. Chain staff. Or why do I have this? Elf water, love water, rib, mage ring. Nope, we're good. We're walking. I would cut this out, but I don't feel like it. I want you all to suffer. I'm lost. It's only been ooh. It's only been like a second and I'm lost already. Floor meat. Someone left some perfectly good ribs in here. This is the wrong way. Our opponent's gonna run out pretty soon. Run on sentences. I have a feeling I just went around in a giant circle. Yep, you know what, screw it. That look that took longer than it had any business taking. Also my repellent ran out, so I'm gonna run back to town real quick. Past the rocks. Also, like er, Scooter and Van gained another level in all of that. It's a really, this is actually a really good place to grind. Which is something I'm going to actually try to avoid doing from now on. Mostly because we're overpowered as heck right now. I want there to be some challenge to this actually, yeah, there is gonna be still be challenge to this game. Because the world after this, there's a massive difficulty spike. And by massive, I mean like 10 level difficulty spike. Which could actually be challenging for us. That being said, I'm going to buy... I don't have any inventory room. I am going to sell... Uh, cancel those. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of some love water. Actually no, let's get rid of some ribs. I have way too many of these. Uh, how many potions do I have? I'll get rid of two. And now let's spend all that money on repellent. I want nine. I can't- no, actually I can't afford nine. But I can't carry nine. I can only carry six. Alright. And I think this will be a short episode. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior Mo- Actually, you know what? Let's go around town first before we end the episode. I have two of them already. This is an easy quest. Yeah, they'll tell you ahead of time, but they don't tell you which animals can- or which monsters can fit through there. I'm pretty sure these ones can, the cats. Sh 
Sure, why not? Uh, I'm pretty sure the bears can fit through that hole, too. And the... Whatever the hell these are. Sure, why not? Screw walking, I can fly... <laughs> Yeah, walk everywhere. Unless you can fly, then screw walking. Alright, I think that'll be it for this episode. So, next time on- oh my god. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters 2... I'm gonna stop looking at pots. We head and find the last treasure. Till then.